unforgivable sin. Oh, God, I just want to go there, get there, be there, stay there where no one can bother me or slobber on me with their words of encouragement or vomit on me with their so-called understanding or stab me through the heart with condescending gazes or suggest a replacement for the motherhood I was planning. They try and turn my pages and rush me out of this grieving chapter of my life and force me into the light when I know that my third eyesight is not developed enough to bask in the brightness of yesterday's transformation into today because I keep seeing visions of tiny fingers and toes in my head. No sugar plums here. No sugar coating this. And no, this is not the remix. It's the raw, uncut version. It's the shit you don't hear on the radio. It's the B-side. It's the truth that even a few good men couldn't handle. It's the scandal whispered throughout wooden church pews by gaudy hat wearing gossips confused about their own Christian bullshit. Do unto your neighbor as you would have him do unto your hypocritical ass. That's why I put in this poem whenever the collection plate is passed. Because I want the amalgamation of this congregation to hear me scream out loud. But in my support group, they tell us to practice screaming without making a sound. In a room full of white people who could not fathom the nothingness left of another black man forced to take his last breath, even if he was just two hours old, I still began to fold right corner down, left corner down, right side over left side. Thank you.